Austria. Forests, meadows and a creek. And this is the place where our journey begins today. It's the very place where the creek divides. Some of the water flows down its natural way and some flows this way here. So this here is the first means to control the flow of water into our microhydro and the water flows down this channel to another building which I will show you next. Now we are about 200 meters downstream here. You see? Here is the creek again. And here is the channel where the water flows into this building here. And inside the building is the first of the two debris separators. It's a automated hydraulic system. It operates automatically and pulls out most of the debris which uh, comes along with the water. Very important debris catcher. And the water flows from here on underground between the two buildings here to the turbine building which I will show you next. So here is the underground channel where the water flows to the turbine building, the actual power plant itself. And as you can see everything here is still under construction so please apologize the mess here. And by the way we had heavy rainfalls and floods the last six or seven days. Everything is wet and dirty. So the underground channel here and here the water enters another chamber and here is another debris catcher. Again to catch all the leaves and grass and what's left in the water and underneath here there is a bunker about four or five meters deep and at the very bottom of this bunker is the actual turbine. It is a so-called Francis turbine. Here is my homemade level sensor. It's from a washing machine. It consists basically of a diaphragm with two switches, the upper and the lower level. And it is a very crude and simple way to control the water level here in the bunker. So yeah, as I said, everything is still under construction here. And it's a little bit noisy, so I have to raise my voice here. So we are inside the building now, and this is the bunker. And all the way down there, at the very bottom of the bunker, is the turbine, the Francis turbine. And this lever here, that you see here, um, can adjust the pitch angle of the turbine, depending on how much water is available in the creek. Open here. The flat belt, big pulley on the turbine side, and a smaller pulley on the alternator side.
This, by the way, is a 20 kilowatt, three phase, 400 volt alternator. It is directly hooked up to the grid. So it is a grid tie micro hydro system. Basically what it does, it pushes the energy from the alternator directly into the grid and we're getting money for the electricity. This is some addition which I made a couple of days ago. I'm trying to automate the system. It is a 12 volt linear actuator and it can be mechanically disconnected here. At the moment we are producing about 15 kilowatts of power here. As I said, we're pushing it directly into the grid. So basically we are earning money for all the power we don't need on the property. And here is what controls the linear actuator in the end. It is a experimental setup controlled by an Arino Nano and a relay H bridge. And this here is the um, charger to top up the 12 volt battery, which is under the top over there so it is just an ordinary lead acid 12 volt battery here car battery and the reason why it needs to be battery operated in the first place is because as I said the system is uh, a grid tie system so in case of a power outage the turbine has to close completely so um, the turbine does not go haywire and it has to go back into a safe state when we have a power outage which is very likely here in the woods so that's why this system and the actuator is powered by the battery and the battery will be keep topped up by uh, the grid via this transformer here and as mentioned this is an experimental setup that's why it is sitting here on a uh, wooden board next to the lever here so that I have everything under control and I have a table to put my notebook on and do some changes on the software but once everything is set and running uh, I will build a proper housing for it and I will put uh, this system once it's perfectly working here into the cabinet of course and this is my way of quick disconnect the turbine lever here it is a bicycle trailer hitch cheap bicycle trailer hitch and I made this lever here so that I can open the hitch from above here and disconnect the linear actuator and this is the last part of our little journey here we are behind the milling building and this is the turbine building and from underneath the turbine the water flows underground out this pipe here and back into the creek so I hope this small tour here on the property and on our micro hydro system was somewhat entertaining for you and if so please like share leave me a comment you can ask some questions about the microhydro and see you soon